Hola amigos and welcome back to Dick in the Kitchen. Today I'm making a beautiful chicken, spinach and cheese enchilada dish from my cochina to yours and it is excellent. You're going to love it. It's easy, it's quick and without any further ado, andale muchachos, let's get cooking. The first thing we're going to do is make the red enchilada sauce. Our first step in that is to mix our spice mixture. We take one tablespoon of ground chili powder and to that we add one teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We then take two dried Mexican chilies and we take those and we destem them and seed them and then we chop them up into small pieces and add them to our spice mixture. Now we're going to make a roux. We're going to take three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and put them in three tablespoons of olive oil that have been heated over medium-high. When that starts to bubble, we mix it up until our roux turns to a light tan color. Now we're going to add our spice mixture and heat it for about 30 seconds to bring out the flavors. Now we're slowly going to pour in our vegetable stock, put it in a little bit, mix it till we have a nice paste, and then continue to add it slowly until we have a nice mixture starting to simmer and boil. We then add our two tablespoons of tomato paste and mix that in. one teaspoon of cider vinegar, and then a good twist of black pepper. And let that cook until it starts to thicken. Now it's time to start preparing the enchilada filling. We'll start by taking a small onion, slicing it, and then dicing it into a rough chop. Take our garlic cloves and finely dice them up until they're all nice and finely chopped and add them with the onions. In this case, we're going to mix fresh spinach with frozen spinach. I had about a half a bag of fresh spinach left over, so I've chopped that up. And I've taken about, oh, a half a cup of frozen spinach, thawed it out, and taken and wrung it out in some paper towels until it's nice and dry. And we're going to use that with the fresh spinach. Take your onions and your garlic and add them to about two tablespoons of nice fresh olive oil and heat that up under medium heat and cook it for about four to five minutes until the onions and garlic start to soften. Now we add our fresh spinach to the onions and garlic and cook that till it starts to wilt and add our uh, frozen spinach do it as well. Cook those two for oh, three, four minutes until that's all mixed together nicely and well wilted. Now it's time to add our cup of corn to the mixture. Cook that for a minute or two and then add our cooked chicken. Heat that through. And then add about one tablespoon of taco seasoning to our enchilada filling mixture. In it. And then we're done.
Assembling the enchiladas is really quite simple. Lay your taco out on a wooden cutting board. Take your refried beans and add about one and a half to two tablespoons of refried beans spread with a spatula on one side of your taco. Then take your spinach, corn, and chicken mixture and spread a couple of tablespoons of that evenly over the taco and a nice handful of cheese. We then roll it up slowly and then with the open crease side on the bottom, we lay it into our pan and stack them up until they're all ready to bake. Okay, now that we have our enchiladas in our baking dish, we take our enchilada sauce and spread it evenly over each of the enchiladas until they're fully covered and coated with the sauce. Spread that evenly over all of the enchiladas. And now we're going to top them with some nice fresh cheese. In this case, we're using cheddar, but you can use Monterey Jack or a mixture of Monterey Jack and cheddar, whatever you prefer. There, now the enchiladas are all done and ready for baking. Now that our enchiladas are all done, it's time to make our Gallo Pinto or Costa Rican style rice and beans. It's quite a simple mixture. All we do is we take two tablespoons of light oil like canola oil, a half a small red pepper chopped up finely, one small onion chopped up finely, and two cloves of garlic mixed. Saute those until they start to soften in your oil oh, for about three to five minutes. Then we add our spice mixture which consists of a half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of dry chime, and then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We saute that for about 30 seconds until the spices start to bloom. And then we add our black beans, cook those for a while until they're nice and warm, and then add about a cup and a half of day-old or cold white rice and just keep mixing it until it's all nicely mixed. When the rice, beans, peppers, and onions are all warmed through nicely and mixed finely, add about one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and then stir it and your Gallo Pinto is complete. All right, it's time to bake our enchiladas. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and put the enchiladas in the oven for about 25 minutes. When they're nice and bubbly, they are done. All right, now we got to serve everything. Let's serve our Gallo Pinto or Costa Rican style rice. We put that in the serving dish. Remove our enchiladas from the oven. Take the chicken enchiladas and the rice and put it on the table. Take some sour cream and guacamole and put them out with a little salsa and you're ready for a fabulous Mexican dinner for your friends or your family. This is really good. I hope you enjoyed it. Try making it. Tell some friends about us. Be sure to like this video and come back and see us next week for another episode of Dick in the Kitchen. And thanks for joining us today.